I don't think I've ever been on a 27 hour train ride before. And we're looking pretty fresh right now, ready to leave Katragudam this evening for an exciting trip up to Rajasthan, Jaipur, where we're believing God for some breakthrough. This whole group is going with us. We're going together on the train in a full force of prayer and faith and believing God to open up some new apostolic avenues of ministry into this very dry, it is literally a desert place of India, but it's also very dry spiritually. And uh, we're believing that we're going to be able to bring the life of Jesus and excitement of the Holy Spirit and lives are going to be touched and so let's go. Dr. Al Purvis and his team have traveled to India to join Victory Bible College graduate Joseph Gadam and his newly formed training center in India, Team Leadership College International. Together, the group will embark on an epic journey to the Hindu stronghold of Rajasthan province. Joseph Gadam established Team Leadership College in 2011 to transform ordinary Indians into extraordinary leaders. Students have gathered from nearly all of India's 28 states to be trained here for apostolic ministry. Today, the 45-member troop are launching out on a groundbreaking mission across India's vast landscape, traveling 30 hours by train from TLCI's headquarters in Andhra Pradesh to the northern state of Rajasthan. part of the country to Rajasthan desert area, Jaipur in particular, to see a real breakthrough for what God wants to do in that part of the country. We've got some students there studying in the Bible called the Chair in uh, Kothagudam in the south part of India and uh, we're traveling with all of the student body up to the north. It's going to be an exciting time hanging out on the train, teaching our classes as we go and uh, getting there to the other end ready to really serve God and see some breakthrough in some new areas. Rajasthan covers 10% of India, making it the largest of India's 28 states and boasts a population of 68 million people, 90% of whom are staunchly Hindu. Rajasthan is a leading investment and tourist destination in India, yet the province is a spiritual wasteland. The social and political structures in India are largely determined by religion and caste. Hindu extremists in Rajasthan have attacked and persecuted Christians for years because they believe Christians undermine the Hindu caste system, a hierarchy that keeps millions of Indians born into the lower castes locked in poverty, illiteracy, and hopelessness. Several of Joseph's students at Team Leadership College are from this area, and the team has come to Rajasthan to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ who died and rose again to give all a new life, filled with purpose and blessing. The ministry's long-term goal is to launch a major apostolic work in this Hindu stronghold and see the traditionally resistant population open up to the gospel message. Okay, we started about 36 hours ago in the southern part of India and now we're up in Jaipur with a meeting with a different church here up in the area. We will be going to the uh, different slum areas and different areas that where the God has really called us to do something for those people who are really never heard about the gospel. This is the toughest place that we will be going on today. We have seen such a team spirit among the students and we have seen the heart for the people. They are reaching out to the people and the children.
Dr. Al Purvis has come to teach the Book of Acts as the team travels the vast countryside and throughout their time on the mission in Rajasthan. Today we are going to the Ajmer. Uh, this is two hours journey by train. This is the one of the strong religious city in India and we are going to be there to minister and we'll be involving in evangelistic outreaches in different places. And we are going to visit many places and we are going to distribute the tracks and other things also. The students have arrived in a small city on the outskirts of Jaipur, Rajasthan's capital, connecting with locals and performing dramas about Jesus' death and resurrection. Because of past outbreaks of religious extremism and violence targeting non-Hindus in the area, Dr. Al and his team were advised not to attend the outreaches with the students. We share the gospel of and we give the cards and this, this place is so dry place. And so many people accept the Jesus and we will go and we will tell them the good news and we will tell them the gospel. It's always great to get to another new ends of the earth and we're up here in Rajasthan, uh, the northwestern part of India, just on the, on the edge of the desert here with all of the students from TLCI and uh, had a just tremendous week, finished today's class here under a big tree and it's just been absolutely awesome to see that impartation. Talk about real things that'll get the kingdom of God from where they are, where their lives are to Asia and around the world. The students of Team Leadership College International have a vision to transform ordinary Indians into extraordinary leaders from among the billion people across the nation of India. This vision will transform them too, to step out of a centuries-old mindset of defeat and extreme poverty. God has a plan to see India rise up, and He's using passionate men and women like the students at TLCI. India is a big country and we've covered maybe most of it, I don't know, but I feel, still feel a little train lagged. It's been an awesome trip with these students, seeing the development as we move. You know, there's something about that moving from one place to another that opens up vision. We're seeing testimonies in these students' lives, like one young man came the other day and he said, you know what, I'm going to devote my life to saving these people out of poverty. And he himself came out of poverty, you know, it's, it's ironical, but yet it's the Spirit of God that's working in people to make them become an answer, a solution to their nation, rather than part of the need. And that's what God has in mind for you and I. You and I need to be solutions to the world need, not part of the need. And as we rise up and become partners with ministries like these guys in India, this tremendous training center that's leading and, and d discipling these guys into full-time ministry, and it's absolutely amazing to see uh, you know, young men and women, one after another, just devote their lives to this full-time idea of leading something amazing for their country. Ordinary Indians becoming extraordinary leaders. We're excited about that. Thanks for watching Continuum. We're gonna take you into some more of India. Coming up next week, we've got a tremendous testimony by a young man named Sinu who lives in a car garage with his mother.